The Tortona area in Milan, the other side of Porta Genova station from the Navigli, has become one of the trendiest fashion districts in recent years. More and more showrooms from the major stilisti have opened up and converted industrial spaces here. At night, the area is much quieter, so people looking for the Movida Milanese are going to be disappointed here and will want to head off to the Navigli or the Ticinese. However, more and more interesting places to eat are opening up. One of these is Fiore, a great neighborhood place on Via Savona, where last year I had this exquisite salad of turbot with watercress and fresh peaches. I didn't get to Fiore this year, but I was delighted to try out a new place at the other end of Via Savona. They didn't have a website, but I was able to locate a sample menu on another site, and it sounded very attractive. My reservation at Chiriboga was for 8 p.m., and when I got there, I was, of course, the first customer. The owner explained that nobody would be coming before 8.30 at the earliest, and most people around 9, the usual dinner eating hour in Milan. Over a glass of really good Prosecco, I took a look at the blackboard with a list of wines by the glass, observed the eclectic decor, and studied the menu. One of the things that had appealed to me about the menu was the large selection of antipasti and primi with vegetables. I'm not a vegetarian, but I always like trying unusual vegetable creations, and Chiriboga has a lot on offer. It was very hot, even in the evening, and I couldn't resist the gazpacho with mango, ginger, and mint. I hadn't had my usual late afternoon snack, and was so ravenously hungry that when the soup arrived, I started right into it and ate it all up. Only when the bowl was empty did I realize I'd forgotten to film it. Sorry. It won't happen again. By the way, the gazpacho was absolutely delicious. The linguine with scallops, pantelleria capers, and zucchini cream were as good as I'd hoped. First of all, the linguine themselves, which of course were homemade, were excellent. And the sauce was perfectly balanced and totally scrumptious. A glass of Sauvignon Blanc from Davide Ferrezin, an uncompromising winemaker from Friuli, was an ideal compliment. My energies were flagging after a very long day, so I passed on a secondo and went straight to dessert. The semifreddo of passion fruit zabaglione with fresh berries was too good to skip, and the fact that there was a glass of sensational 2004 Gewitz Tramina Passito from Südtirol to go with it enhanced the pleasure even further. It was still very early, around 10.45, when I left. By this time, the place was full. In the kitchen, the cooks were still busy. 